Guys, after many, 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 many months, we're gonna make a start on the mini crawler course. There's a lot of green in this shot, which is the perfect opportunity. <laughs> anyway, I bought this thing the same time as I moved into this workshop, so oh, well over a year ago, with the plan to make it into like a movable mini crawler course. So it's, someone made it for potting plants and stuff. I've put a little bit of bracing on it, I've put some wheels on it, so it does move now. So it's completely mobile. I'm gonna try and build the ultimate indoor mini crawler course. Now what you need for a mini crawler course is just a load of rubbish, really, literally. A load of rubbish, boxes, packing material. I got this old molded kind of thing off a, off like a kid's toy railway. Came with that as well. And over the last 12 months or so, I've just been collecting lots of stuff. But in here is bits of wood, more boxes, more bits of wood, bits of metal in there. I've got some rocks in there. I've got some mud in there. All of that along with like some paint and some other supplies it's gonna make our crawler course. And I've got a really good idea for it. My plan is to make this into four seasons. I may or may not have already titled it, this mini crawler course takes a year to get round. I'll explain in a minute. I might not have put that title, but it's very likely I have. We're gonna split the table into four. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna build initially like a, I wanna say a mountain range. We're gonna get a load of boxes, we're gonna do a loop round, and then we're gonna start with spring, summer, autumn, and then finally winter. So spring's gonna be very green, like my Christmas hoodie. Some flowers, a bit of blossom on the trees, maybe a bridge with a small stream through it. Maybe getting a little bit carried away, but you see the idea. Nice and green and spring-like. Now my idea for summer is gonna be a bit drier, some sand, sort of darker brown colours. Not quite a desert as such, but a really hot, dry kind of area. And then autumn's... Autumn's gonna be some, sort of gonna use some logs and some leaves and mud and stuff like that. And winter's gonna have a nice holiday season, Christmas vibe, maybe put some like Christmas lights around it. I've already bought some trees that are gonna go in this area. All this stuff here is like shrubs and things, different colors, just to, just to, just to give it all a little bit of character. We've got some stuff here for spring, the nice bright colors there. I laid in bed awake for probably about two hours the other night, just kind of thinking of what I want to do to it. So I'm gonna take my time, I'm gonna try and get it right. But if it doesn't all go to plan, we're still gonna have a pretty cool mini crawler course that's indoors. So first thing I gotta do is get all these boxes and make the sort of main template around. And it is just as simple as pretty much, well, not just chucking them on any way you want, but crush them down a bit. On some of the harder ones, I use the hammer just to get the corners down. So once you've got your boxes down, you'll need some of this stuff. It's basically like the plaster cast. So if you like break a bone or something, it's what they wrap around your arm or your leg. Now there's, there's all different, I'm gonna do it again, aren't I? Whoa. There's all different types of this stuff. I just looked on Amazon and I found the one that had like the best reviews, the ones that said they actually had quite a bit of plaster on them. If you get like the bulk stuff that's really cheap, if you look at the reviews, some people say that there's hardly any kind of plaster on them. Come in sheets like that and all you're gonna do is dip them in a little bit of warm water and then just lay them over the top. It takes a little while to dry so you can remold it and we're gonna cover this whole section. And then once it's dry, it's a good idea to take like a truck over it and just, find the lines and then adapt it. You can add more bits, add more boxes, put little bridges in, little ledges and all sorts of stuff. So it takes a little bit of time. It's gonna get a bit messy, but I'm gonna crack on and then we'll come back once I've covered most of it. So that's as much as I'm gonna to do today. Gotta to let that dry now. It's not completely dry, but it's hard. You can see that's still um, drying. You could say that's the foundations of it. Got to add little bits and pieces and some rocks and other stuff. And then once it's dry and we've driven something over it, I can change bits and pieces. As I've been going, I've added some bits in as well. So I've added this little step down here this, and stopping at this point at the moment, because I wanna work on the transition between there to um, the other side, I wanna make something a little bit fancy. And then that that you can see there, I've left it as kind of like a ramp, because well, I think what I'm gonna do is put like a rope bridge or something on that. Once that's dry, I put a little bit of filler primer on it, 
That'll just get rid of some of these little gaps and these little holes in here. Spring, so up to about this point is gonna be all gray and then I'm gonna add the grass and bits and pieces after it. And then what I wanna do for this side, which is gonna be summer, like I said, I want sort of like a deserty kind of um, theme. Gonna make this like that orangey red color. So throwing some filler primer down. When I started spraying it, I realized this color's not far off what I wanted for like the summer like desert area. So I chucked a little bit of red oxide down as well just to darken it. And I think it's actually looking like how I want it. Only issue is it's so cold at the moment, even the plaster hadn't completely dried. But I painted it anyway and we've gone <laughs> drastic measures. I've chucked a couple of radiators under there so the heat's going to go up, hopefully help it dry. It's about six degrees C in the workshop at the moment, so an expensive way to dry at the moment with energy costs, but let's get this thing dry. While I've been waiting for that to dry as well, I also put this little structure together. Transition between summer to autumn, I want it, I want it to be quite technical, so I've built this as a bit of framework. This angle varies from like 42 to I think this bit here is about 47. Um, and then we've got to do a little bit of a drop down here and then that's going to go down and into the mud. I've also added this in which is going to be covered, there's going to be foam underneath it and stuff. But it might give another option for going up there or coming down if you want something a bit more uh, technical but we'll see how that pans out. Not exactly sure where we got to yesterday because I had to cut the video short because I had someone coming around to fit a new electricity meter. Now I know how much this is costing me, <laughs> I might have to switch them off. I've got a few layers of paint on now, I've gone for that grey uh, primer, I've put some sealant over it, I'm using this matte varnish. So I tried it out last thing yesterday um, with a TRX4M and it started like pulling up some of the paint and stuff and where some of the plaster's not set properly it's just flaking it off. So um, I've put a layer of sealant over it. The building sounds a nice like dark red sort of brown colour. That's going to go on this area, which I think has come up really well. I might need to lighten it a bit. I don't know if it's a bit too dark for the look I'm going for, but we're going to get the sand down. I'm going to put a layer across it and then some sealant. The sharp sand, I'm going to put some sharp sand on the grey, but then I'm going to paint grey back over it, then seal it. Leave it for a couple of days and then we'll try it again and see if it sort of starts pulling the paint up. And then the other job for today is some expanding foam on this construction. I don't want to interrupt this too much of it, so I'm going to put the foam in here, underneath here, under here, and then a little bit around the sides, just, just to add a little bit of support to it, along with this bit here, just under here, just to support it a little bit. And then I'm going to cut it and shape it and then I put, might put a little bit more on but what I don't want to do is ruin this sort of shape here because I kind of like that. Sand, paint, seal, seal, foam. Let's go. Wow, uh, all we managed to do was make a bit of a mess. I may have added a little bit of support there, but uh, that was over and done with a lot quicker than I thought. Uh, plan B, I might, I'll probably get a couple more of these because it looks like it's gonna be quite good for some um, terrain anyway. I'm gonna use some plaster sheets just to get this, uh, this hill bit done for today, I think. Put sides all along here so I can, I can fill this part with sand. And then there'll be some rocks in there and little obstacles and stuff like that. So right. this sand's drying up a little bit. I'm going to be interested to see what it looks like in a couple of days. I did do a little dusting of yellow over there and I think it's made a bit of a difference. So I don't know, we'll see. Looking a bit like a volcano at the moment. Need to do a little bit more work with the paint on that. That's nice and solid now. Plastered all over there. I'm going <laughs> to, I'm not a fan of this foam. It's not quite dry yet. I think it's too cold in here. It didn't expand very well and it's just, yeah. No, that's that's dry there. So I'll cut that back and stuff and neaten that up and I'll probably plaster around the side of it. So up over from summer, coming down into autumn or fall. Gonna make this a little bit more autumnal. Um, it look a bit muddier coming down, but just for now, I thought we'd uh, just prime it and leave it like that. Added this little obstacle in, it's quite a nice little easy feature. Because it's wired, I've bunched it up and fixed it there and I've just put a little block there. So, so you don't need any other support really, it supports itself. So that's a nice one. That's, I guess it gives you an idea of the size of this thing. This is a one, I think it's 1 18th, isn't it? So you can see it's a nice, nice size. 
Anyway. <laughs> Change of plan, I don't like this colour. It's not quite come out how I wanted it to and the sand colour is just, well, it's just a bit brown rather than I wanted like a orangey look. Anyway, I've got a load of these rocks. So these, again, they just don't look right. So I'm gonna change the colour, gonna remove all the sand and then I'm gonna paint over it and redo it. I'd rather do it now than regret not doing it once I've got further on this uh, build. So this is kids play sandwich. Oh, oh, come on, hopefully. The stuff I had in my house for my little girl was a lot lighter than that. We'll let that dry. If not, <laughs> I've got <laughs> quite a bit of sand that I can't use. So by this point, I got so far behind, I just cracked on. Because this was something I was doing on and off between other videos and other stuff, it kind of, it's kind of got a bit disjointed, but I just cracked on. What you see I'm doing here is putting PVA glue on. Quite a few people suggested this actually in the comments that some PVA glue mixed with some sand or some paint. Then I started doing autumn or fall, sealed the bottom as best possible so stuff wasn't gonna fall through, cut some board out so that I could then make a border, threw it on there. Once I'd thrown the sides on, I then set about making just a few more obstacles there before we started putting the, uh, the wood chip down. PVA glued it, then added some gray paint before the glue had even dried. Then I stuck some wood chip down, that gave it a bit of texture. Then I threw a load down just to fill it up. When I set about doing winter, I got loads of expanding foam and just went at it. Made a bridge. I've not got a proper picture of when all the foam is set, but it was it was a little bit too much, so I did cut some out. Thought I videoed cutting some out, but clearly not. Anyway, added some plaster to it. This is really good. And then once the plaster was on, while it's still damp, smoothed it out with a wet sponge. Then added sand, then added paint, PVA glue, etc, etc. Then I added flock to make spring look a little bit more spring. Basically you just put a thin layer of PVA down and then sprinkle the flock on it. I did put a little bit of, um, I put a little bit of sealant over the top as well. Then I made a log pile. This is definitely going to need work, it's a little bit too easy at the moment. And that was the final piece really for phase one for the mini crawl of course. And like I just said, that is the end of phase one. I've done a little bit more, let's go and have a look. So what I didn't talk about on that video was this. Now, it was gonna be a wet mud pit, but I realized it's just gonna destroy everything <laughs> once you get out of the mud pit. So I'm keeping it dry. I added these clay balls, these are for like slingshots. And then I got these black BB pellets. I've seen people in the US get like brown and sort of cream and brown ones. I can't find them in the UK anyway. Needs more in there, but I've got an idea. I reckon coffee beans. I think if I fill the rest of that up with coffee beans, that's gonna be pretty good. And we can call it, I don't know, the coffee, the bean pit or something. Anyway, added some expanding foam, painted it. So, so it looks a little bit better now. Before, it just didn't work. It was too deep there really, and it was causing issues here. Looks a bit like wet mud and stuff, doesn't it? That's too easy, so we're gonna sort that out. Added a few trees, elf stuck in there. Added some rock as well. Look at this one, look. It's got like a fossil or something in it. And here it is, <laughs> and it's looking good. I need to touch up around here because you can see the glue on there. Bits and pieces to do, but like I said, this is phase one. I've got loads more ideas. We're gonna put a bridge in there. We're gonna make a few more technical things. I wanted some technical bits, but I wanted to make it so that some of the lower end crawlers can get over it as well. A little scale fire pit that I made. <laughs> Right, let's do a, I'm gonna do a lap now with one of my mini crawlers so you can see it in action. So I'm gonna take my favorite round, my FCX24. The steering link's a bit floppy, but we should be okay. It's got some nice trio wheels on this with Mickey Thompson tires. So it's a really, so there's a nice tight line. Oh, whoa, just through this gap here. So let's get up here. So we'll just get up here. My throttle went funny then. I think the battery went, so anyway, change the battery, right. So this line here, I think you have to go up and then drop it. Drop it over. <laughs> Basically you come through at that angle and then take it over there, but a bit too wide I think I am on this one. 
Oh, this isn't going well, is it? Now my steering link's fallen off. Then we go through summer. Nice, easy route, this one. Steep climb, steep as you want to make it. We go steep with this one. Depending on where you come down this bit, it will depend on if you can do it or not. There's a sketchy way, which is the way I'm going. Whoa, the wheel just hooked around there. You have to be so slow on this bit, so slow. Luckily, the FCX24 can go slow. Whoa, <laughs> bit of air there. Ah. <laughs> now it's this bit. Mud pit's not finished yet, so we'll go this way. Bit too easy for this at the moment, so I need to work on some uh, some harder bits up here. Probably put a few little blocks on there. You can see it gives it a bit of a works the old flex a bit there. Then into winter, and now winter, there's a again a few different lines to take. I'm going to show you the difficult one, or one of the difficult ones, which is to come up, to come through here and then up there. You have to come in wide to do this bit. So up there and then turn in. Oh, not enough turn there. Not showcasing this all that well, considering it's my own course, but we will do it. Look, I'll show you. There we go. I think I got it now. Bit of traction. There we go. And up over the top. We've got a good base set up now to add some more bits and pieces to it, make some more technical stuff. I'm going to put the gates and stuff in and then start proper scoring it and then I can do comparisons between mini crawlers. Cheers for watching, I'll see you next time.